as I'm talking, you can probably actually hear the instrument resonating. Uh, it's like I'm, it's like I'm, uh, I've got a natural reverb <laughs> when I'm speaking here. Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I can, I can hear it pretty loud and clearly. But, uh, what's happening is all these, all these strings underneath are, are resonating when I'm, when I'm speaking. But, uh, this is, this is a, a 36 string salemba, and so that means it has 36 strings on it. Um, it's not like a, uh, it doesn't have a fretboard, or it doesn't go from one end to the other end. Uh, it goes in a circle. Uh, the best way I can explain this is that uh, when you sit down for dinner with your family, or with, in a big gathering, if you have a bunch of people and you're sitting at a long table, um, it's kind of hard to see some of the people. Um, but if you're sitting at a round table, everyone can see each other. And I believe that that's how the notes structure is set up on, on this salemba. It's, it gives you the ability to play in a way that is, uh, it gives you more options than just going up and down a scale or up and down a scale or like like a flute going up and down a scale so uh this gives you more options it also replaces the uh the the chords and turns it into patterns so when you're playing you're actually going to be playing patterns instead of chords um in this case so um basic uh, structure here is that we've got a let's let me start right here at C uh, and I will I will show you I'll show you how the how the uh, the string structure is set up so this is C here this note here and the reason why I know it's C is because I have a little uh, block here underneath it that s has C on it so uh, this is the low C note alright uh, if you follow that that string all the way across it actually goes to the middle it goes across goes down and then it becomes the the string on the other side on the uh, underneath at the bottom and then it goes across here and uh, it goes through this little hole and then on the other side I don't know if you can see this right here but it's going through that hole and then going down uh, through through the the outside bridge and then so the the end of the uh, string is right there uh, so some people call that the beginning of the string, which is true. This is the beginning of the string. So I'll, I'll help you trace it back. Starts here. Goes up through the, the outer ring or the outer bridge. Comes through the hole. Goes to the, um, through the, the ceramic middle piece, which is the, the inner bridge. Uh, it comes up at that point, um, and then it then it sits on the top of the inner bridge, and then it becomes the it comes across, and this is the actual part of the string that you're playing, that you're stroking. Okay, and then it comes across here, and it sets on a little saddle here, and then you and then it goes into your your tuner where you you can actually tune it. Okay, so that's how every string is set up. So it's 36 strings, but in your in your with your eyes, it looks like it's 64 strings. If you counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, all the way around, you would count 64. Um, but yeah, this is uh, 36. Um, <clears throat> I, I sorry, did I say 64? I meant 72. Sorry about that. Uh, 72 it looks like 72 strings okay so uh, the basic material setup is that you've got a bowl 
underneath which is a uh, nitride steel and this nitride steel uh, is it's a low carbon steel that is that has it goes through a treatment series ser uh, series where it's uh, hardened to a to a certain uh, point where it is extremely extremely high resonant and it has the 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 um, the acoustical properties of uh, ceramic, but it's got the structural properties of steel. So uh, it's very strong. The bowl is very strong, but it has a really resonant quality. Okay, and then we got spruce top right here, and then you got a uh, mahogany outer rim, and then this is another piece of mahogany. All all of these. Uh, saddles here are another type of mahogany. Uh, you got the inner bridge. Uh, the inner bridge, the wooden part, is uh, a type of mahogany. And then you got this inner, inner, inner bridge. It's the, well, this is actually the inner saddle. Um, and this is made out of uh, a ceramic. And this is the resonator. So actually all the strings are sitting on top of this. And uh, it's a floating resonator, so it actually floats, and uh, it resonates uh, whenever you play it. So that's what uh, helps increase the volume and and uh, resonate all the all the strings together. Um, okay, so. other materials then you just have the tuners that's the only other material that that we got here uh, we also have on the bottom side is a um, this kind of centerpiece and uh, really this this wooden piece is just just in case if you have it on the floor you can spin it um, and it stays even uh, but right here in the middle you got a quarter inch jack for a guitar cable um, and you would probably wonder why do you have it right in the middle and the reason why is because this is designed to sit on a snare stand um, or any type of stand that you know the the actual the actual bowl is what uh, that the stand is actually touching the bowl part and it leaves a room here for you to put a you know put a, uh, a a quarter inch jack in there and that way you can put put it into a into an amp uh, you can do recording you can play with other bands um, you can play with drums and you can match its volume uh, you can do recordings or whatever so so that's that's that um, uh, that is the basic setup of the Salemba and I can't think of anything else that, that um, as far as setup that, to talk about. Um, these you you might wonder about these these three holes here. They're just sound holes. They help distribute the the frequencies and the sound coming out from the bowl. Um, you might wonder what the wires are on the inside, but those are contact mics that are actually connected to the to the you know the the inside of the soundboard right there, um, right where the holes are. There's three contact mics that are on the inside, and so those wires all come down into that um, that quarter inch jack. So when you when you hook it up, you need phantom power. So uh, make sure you have an amp with phantom power um, or a record like whatever recorder you're using or whatever. Just make sure it has phantom power and um, if you're hooking up on a on an uh, a stage or something you just make sure that has phantom power um, so that's that I'm gonna proceed to the uh, the tuning now